Wayne Cousins cl clearly is an absolute, complete and utter monstrous wrong -un. How was this guy allowed, allowed to operate in the Met? Well, I, I think there are specific issues with the indecent exposures. Um, there's a more general issue about um, how his behaviours weren't picked up by colleagues and things like that. But of course, if somebody is hiding uh, what they're really up to, um, then it can be quite difficult to get beyond that. You might get a little, little bit of a sort of suggestion from time to time, but not not really enough to go on. But the the indecent exposures, um, I believe there was a car uh, index number taken in one case um, that should really have led to him um, fairly promptly. But um, we've we've seen this for the last twelve years, really. Um, since the cuts to policing, they haven't got enough people to do everything properly. Um, mm. To be honest, sometimes you look at it and you think they haven't got enough time to do anything properly. Well, no, and, but this is this is the well, thing. When, when, when I when, when I was looking at Peter, when I was when I was looking at some of the the breakdown of what happened that horrific evening in relation to Sarah Everard, the actions of Wayne Cousins there when he rented a car in his own name, basically. He was using his mobile phone for quite a lot of it, at least was able to track it. Just the manner in which he disposed of the body and in being caught on CCTV and all that stuff. Those are the actions of a man who, frankly, didn't have any faith in the police force that he worked for, clearly, because no one who was trying to cover up anything like that would have behaved so stupidly, I would suggest. And so is it any wonder when you look at the fact that he's got away with Flashing and goodness knows what else for a period of time as well. Yeah, I, I mean, when when you get away with something, it obviously gives you um, the feeling that that uh, you're able to get away with more, and and you sort of keep pushing the boundaries. And so, um, yes, there would have been a some of that in there somewhere. Um, but I think when it comes to the actual murder itself. Um, that was a, a massive sort of leap forward in his offending. And um, he probably found himself uh, with the problem that lots of offenders uh, in serious cases like that find themselves um, with having not really thought through exactly what was going to happen next and how they were going to do things. So they try and make the best of a bad job and just make it made. Uh, it's not at all unusual for that to be the case. Just, 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 just lastly on this, Peter, is there any whiff of covering stuff up? You know, oh, it's just, it's just Wayne. You know, he's only, he's only flashed someone. You know, he's one of us, really. We'll, we'll, we'll let him off. Is there any whiff of that? I've not heard or seen anything that suggests that to me, and I would be extremely surprised if there was. Okay. Police officers do not like police officers who offend with serious criminal offences. And although it's at the lower end of the scale, indecent exposure uh, is pretty bad. And uh, they would have been putting his name in the frame if they knew.